Hello, Father of Peter, once again from the Rise of Sacramento. My warmest greeting to all of you. Let go and let God. Let go all the worries and anxieties in life. Let God, let God take over. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Today is Good Friday, and this is a perfect day to reflect and meditate on the cross of Christ, His passion and His death. Today also, I will be sharing my personal encounter with Father Stuart Long. Who is Father Stuart Long? There's a movie right now, and the actor is Mark Wahlberg. And it's a famous movie because it's all about conversion, metanoia. And I had the privilege to know the real Father Stuart Long. He was my friend. He was my classmate at Mount Angel Seminary during our formation years to become a priest during our seminary life. And first of all, I would like to share with you the biography of Father Stuart Long. Father Stuart Long, he was 50 years old when he passed in the early morning hours of Monday, June 9, 2014 at the Big Sky Care Center where he has resided and ministered since 2010. Father Stowe was born at Herbert View Medical Center in Seattle on July 26, 1963. Father Stowe attended Carroll College, a Catholic university, but was in Catholic at the time. He remembers being required at a Tin Mass as part of the football game preparation, according to an interview with a Montana Catholic in 2010. In the same interview, he shared that he would often argue with the teachers interrupt class and ask ignorant question that he didn't relate to the content. His conversion is amazing. He shared that to me many times from being an agnostic troublemaker to having a mystical encounter with God and after that he decided to become a priest. An avid athlete, Father Stowe played football for Carroll College and later pursued boxing winning Montana Golden Gloves Championship in 1985. Faced with a surgery after a fight, Father Stowe gave up boxing and moved to Los Angeles to pursue an acting career. Though he had some success with commercials and work as an extra in the movies, it was not the career he imagined. While acting, he worked at a nightclub and was a comedy club in a bar. Finished with an acting, he treated in the nightlife to work for the Norton Simon Museum in Pasadena, California, where eventually became a manager for seven years. He would ride his motorcycle, an artifact of his acting days, to and from the museum. One day when he shared it to me, he was riding home after work and he got hit by a car and smashed into a car in the next lane with his head. Father Stowe shared that the witnesses at the time and reporters that he was rolling down the road and another car ran over the top of him, but he was still alive. He told me that an angel saved him. It was a miracle. We experience that in our day-to-day -day life. Miracle happen all the time. The accident proved that Father Stu's conversion leading him to have what he called a religious experience while he was in the hospital. Upon returning home and discussing marriage with his then girlfriend, he entered RCIA. What is RCIA, Religious Initiation of Catholic Adult? Religious Catholic Initiation for Adult. On the day he was baptized, he knew he was going to become a priest. He shared in the 2010 interview. He deserved entering a religious order in New York for the first time, but ultimately he decided to become a secular priest, which is working in the diocese. And he was decided to join the Diocese of Helena, Montana. In 2003, he entered Mount Angel Seminary in Oregon, and that's the time we met during our seminary life. 
and father's toe had hip surgery where in a fist sized tumor was discovered. I saw that, I saw his pain at the time. He was diagnosed with inclusion body myositis, an inflammatory condition in the muscles for which there is no cure. It was hard for him, but I can see how he fought for that because he has hope and he has love for the risen Lord. His body was already slowing down when he was ordained to the priesthood in December 2007. I had a lot of fun memories with Father Stuart Long. The first one when he used to tell me, Jovito, if you want to follow Jesus Christ, you have to carry your cross each day. And that's my life right now. And then that's our life. Life is not easy. We have to carry our own crosses every day. Maybe it's a problem, maybe it's a disease or illness, or maybe it's a stress and anxieties in life. We have to carry it daily. The second one is surrender everything to the Lord. He is in control. He is in charge. He is the owner of everything. It's easy for us just to let it go, to give everything to the Lord. Those two things I always remember because of Father Stuart Long. Every time I have a problem, every time I have stress and anxieties in life, I always remember that, to let go and to surrender everything and to carry my cross each day. All of us, there is no exception. We experience that we need to face the challenges in our life. Father Sto, thank you for the friendship that we've shared. Thank you for accompanying me in my journey and thank you for all your support and help. And always pray for us, my friend my classmate. May you find eternal rest in heaven. I may the souls of the faithful to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Have a blessed Good Friday to all of you. God bless you all. Bye.